my gosh, it has been way too long, hasn't it? I know it's been like a month. Yeah, it's been a month, over the, oh, a month. I'm so sorry. I've just been like working and school and friends and a lot of things. And I've just been tired and um, I haven't been doing anything really. So I haven't posted and I haven't, I've just been like, in a constant state of just like, I'm exhausted, I can't do anything else. So I apologize for that, I really, really, truly do. But we're gonna get into the video. Today's video is going to be a story time, okay? Let's get into Sorry, it. I didn't mention the fact that it's also gonna be a get ready with me because I do have work today, <laughs> so that too. Okay, so first of course, we're gonna wash our face. Okay, so on the masks, um, sits. So I think it's time for an update of what I've been doing recently. Um, so important news, guys. I found out what my type was. I know. I finally, I was thinking about it and I was just like, I do have a type. Like, I've always been the type that was like, I don't really have a type. Just like, you know, tall. But I definitely have a type. Obviously, tall guys, taller than me, at least. And I like, like, the quieter guy in a friend group. Like, he has a good amount of friends, but he's the, like, quiet one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to listen to him to know what he's talking about. If that makes any sense whatsoever. But that's, like, the one that draws me in. Because the boisterous, like, loud, over-the-top guys, they're just, like, you know, they're fun and everything, but... I don't feel like a connection with those type of guys. They're just like, <laughs> okay. like that's, that's not my type. So yeah, I figured out my type. And also, um, I've been watching a lot of shows on Netflix. So I watched Fate of the Winx Saga, which was a great show. Um, remember when I was obsessed with Winx Club when I was a girl? So, well, I am a girl, a little girl when I was younger. So, um, it was cool to see it, live action and everything, and, um, I finished Anne with an E, which is a great show, it made me cry, like, a bajillion times, and, yeah, I've just been binging a fat ton of shows, so if you guys have a new show or anything, I'm also re-binging the entire Disney Princess movies in order, I'm saying, yeah, I'm binging a lot of shows so if you guys have any shows movies anything that you want me to watch just let me know okay so let's get back into this because i gotta wash this off soon ta-da we're in my room oh my gosh um i haven't shown you guys my rearrangement of my room that's so wild i'm going to show it to you right now it's a bit of a mess because i have not cleaned my room yet today or for the last couple of days but i'm going to show it to you anyway just don't judge okay cool I'm really setting back this story time, but when you walk in, there's my piano. That's my dirty clothes. Just ignore it. Um, my closet's still the same. Uh, my book, my snack bin, that, my little table stand, um, my bed. I moved it. It used to be here, so I moved it here. And then this is my sister's bed. Um, it's over here now. My sister actually doesn't live with me anymore she went back to her place this um it's a bit of a mess as i said before don't judge i haven't cleaned there <laughs> but yeah and my mirror so okay let's just do the story time okay and get okay ready. into the story time don't mind me um getting ready while doing this but my story time is going to be about a dream that i had that was super freaky and um yeah i will forever remember that dream because it really freaked me out so basically um i think it was like a couple months ago maybe and i was having this weird dream um i was in this hotel with my mom and we just got our key to go to the our room and when we got there there was these guys and they were like angry like they were yelling at us and mad about something and we were all like um this is our room and they're like no this was our room 
and we're just like what are you talking about we just got the key this is our room and they were just like full on freaking out at us and screaming and then the guy was like you'll learn live to regret this and we're like okay so we go my my mom's like going to your our, your room our room so i go into the room and she's still out there like talking to them okay one sec i'll be right back okay what was i again um yeah okay so uh i go into the room right and my mom's still out there. So then she comes back in and she's like, that was weird. Like, what's, I don't know what happened. And I was like, yeah, that was weird. So we go to sleep. And then the next morning, um, uh, the dream just like flashes forward. So we're downstairs having breakfast. We're going to go bre eat breakfast. And um, when I'm like walking out, cause we're gonna eat breakfast in our room. When I'm walking out, this girl's standing there and just like screams and runs past me and then behind her is this guy in this mask like full-on ski mask like you can't see his face whatsoever and the girl just is gone and i'm just standing there with this guy and he's just staring at me and then he like pulls out a knife and like charges at me so i start obviously freaking out i drop my food my plate and just like start running around but like the plate thing was that i couldn't go anywhere we were in like a lobby or something like that but there was no way for me to leave anywhere if that makes sense like i was just like trapped in this place like i couldn't leave and then he finally catches me and he's like choking me and this guy another guy shows up in the doorway and he like stares and starts laughing, like full on cackling. And the guy's holding me and I'm literally freaking out because, you know, I'm about to die <laughs> at that point. But, um, and then he like, they're like talking and they're like, what should we do with her? And he was like, I think we should slit her throat. And he was like, oh, but she's so pretty. I think we'd have to start with the face. I was, yeah, it was, um, that was interesting, um, but uh, one sec, I'll be right back. Okay, so basically, um, I'm literally at this point thinking that I'm going to die, like knowing that I'm going to die. I'm struggling and like trying to get out, but I can't, like no matter what I do, I can't get out and they're like laughing and making jokes. And then all of a sudden, the guy holding me goes down, like, just passes out and i look up and i see my mom which happens to be billy eilish which i don't know why i don't but she hit him over the head with the chair so um now the other guy with the knife is like going after her but she's like fighting like crazy like good fighting and the security guard also is there and is helping my mom, which is Billie Eilish, um, and they're like fighting off these this guy because the other one's still passed out on the floor. My mom literally hops on the guy and like handcuffs him with, not like actual handcuffs, but with some string or something. I couldn't remember what it really was, but she like handcuffs him and um, that's when i wake up and when i wake up the weirdest thing ever happened so that mirror right there right um it was across from my bed so when i look like out i would see the mirror so i wake up like breathing heavily like scared out of my mind and i look up and i stare at the mirror and i see like 20 faces 20 to 30 faces just flash in front of my face I have no idea who any of these faces were and I couldn't move nothing like I couldn't turn my head away from the faces all I could do was like pay attention to the faces and that was it and once all the faces flashed by and I saw them all it was just gone like gone and um yeah that was my dream my story time so if you guys enjoyed listening to my horrific dream that still kind of scares me to this day 
Um, I hope you guys will hit the. <laughs> hit the smash button. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hit the like um, and smash the subscribe um, so you guys can see my videos. And I think I'm going to post two videos this week because I've been lacking so hard. So yes, I'm going to post two videos for y'all. And I hope you guys liked this, even though I would, did not like that experience and enjoyed my get ready with me because I'm ready for work, and I yes, oh, <laughs> yes I am wearing a sweatshirt. I'm also wearing leggings under these jeans because it is currently like five degrees outside, which is freaking cold. Let me tell you, and I have to go outside a lot for work. So, yes, yes, mwah, love you. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope your Valentine's Day was great. I did nothing because you know I don't have a boo or anything, but. I hope you guys, if you have a boo, if you have a boo, I hope you guys did a great, had a great day. I did have some chocolate covered strawberries, but okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm blabbing. Um, yeah. Okay. Mwah. Love you. Okay. So I forgot to add this, but, um, I, for my uh, next couple video later, I want to do a Q and A. So, um, send in some questions and I'm sorry, I'm doing my hair right now, <laughs> but send in some questions and I will answer them. Okay. Yay! Okay. Uh, for real, goodbye. Have a great day.